And good morning. Welcome to the book of Philippians. We're in chapter 1, and our reading here will be from 3 and 4 and 5 today. So let's read it. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. I can assure you that not every pastor remembers his church, not every church member remembers his church with thankfulness at every remembrance of that group. It just doesn't always work that way. But Paul does. Paul remembers the Philippian church, and every time it's in his mind, which is a lot, he has a very thankful spirit about what Jesus did for those people and for him in that work. Notice here, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer. Did you hear all that? Always, every, all. These are these are complete, these great big, he's reaching out and he's grabbing a lot with each of those all-encompassing terms. Always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy. And so it's with joy that Paul thinks about them, prays about them, prays with them, prays for them, and seeks their good. He has joy when he does it. A lot of times our prayers maybe aren't as characterized by joy as they could be, right? We have a problem. We have an emergency. We have a disaster we're praying about. Something has gone wrong and we're we're fulfilled with, you know, this human nervousness. Here's a pattern that's different. Always in every prayer, he's making request with joy. And that's going to be one of my goals is to, to let that be true in my heart. That every time I pray for the people in my churches, every time I pray for my friends at church, that I will pray those prayers with joy in my heart and thankfulness in my heart. And you could maybe do that too at your church. Notice again, always in every prayer of mine, making request for you all with joy. Did you notice he's, it's very some very specific things going on here. He is making request. He is asking God certain things. He's not just saying, oh, hi, God, your face is beautiful. Your face is all I see. He has specific spiritual requests, things that are needful and th helps that are needed by those people. We can pray for each other and pray for the things that, that we know the other members the other holy ones, the holy saints, everybody at church, the things that they need spiritually, we can pray for that. Notice again then verse 5, for your fellowship in the gospel from the very first day until now. From the beginning, they all were together. They were in the fellowship of the gospel. I hope you have that spirit in your church, that when you see a brother, when you see a sister, when you see a guest, a visitor, a friend walk into the building or the place where you're meeting, I hope that you sense that fellowship in the gospel, that we're all coming into this space, we're pretty much on one page. I mean, it doesn't mean we're going to see every detail, every jot and tittle exactly the same, but we're all basically in spirit, in heart, and in mostly in our thinking, because we're reading from the same Bible, we're mostly on the same page. We have a fellowship in the gospel. If there's not a fellowship in the gospel in your church, then there's something missing there. There's something that, that God needs to provide. Maybe you can be a source for bringing that church into the fellowship of the gospel. A beautiful spirit between brother and sister, old and young, all alike. Well, may God help us in our churches. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this new day. Thank you that we can have a day where we are in fellowship with others. We might not be in the same space, the same building. We might not see the same people today that we'll see on the Sabbath, the day of worship, but we can have a fellowship in the gospel. We can know that four miles away, brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so, that person is worshiping Jesus today just as I am. And that gives us hope and encouragement. We are not just a collection of stray things, stray people with stray beliefs and weird ideas. We are coming, trusting in the word, following out the word, delivering and living by and being blessed by and being changed and transformed by the same gospel. Thank you for that, Lord. We, we pray for that with thanksgiving and joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a joyful and a thankful spirit today. I'm sure you need it. I know I need it. God be with you.